Cassie, this is my big night in, and tonight we've got Alexandra playing with a couple of his friends, Araminta and Charlie. We've also got the amazing Steve, and also Robbie Boyd. And also it's Catherine's birthday, so we're celebrating Catherine. Happy birthday, Catherine. Hi, so I'm here with Alex Andrew. Alex, welcome to my big night. Thank How you, you very doing? Much. Yeah, really, really good. So you were in a boy band. I was. I was in a boy band for a while. We did well, but it went a bit kind of a bit wrong. So. Um, so what went wrong? We had a bit of a, a bit of a bad manager. Um, it's kind of like that book, John Niven's Kill Your Friends. You know, it's kind of just through that whole industry and just everything like that. But uh, I'm here now, solo act. I'm going to do it. This is my hometown. Place my heart's beating about where the grass is always greener. This is my hometown, place my heart's beating about Where the grass is always greener and there's no other side And so you played at some massive gigs in being in a boy band. Yeah, yeah, uh, we did, um, we supported The Wanted and supported JLS um, and then our last gig uh, before it all kind of went wrong with Codeline, which is amazing. It was, you know, such a privilege to be able to perform in front of these, you know, thousands of people. And so how does it feel going from playing huge gigs to suddenly playing sort of much smaller intimate gigs? I think it's more difficult because okay. when you've got a bigger crowd, you can't really see them, but like this here, it's, it's a lovely atmosphere, but, you know, everyone's so close, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it'd be fun. Hold my breath, I pray to a God, I hear your heartbeat as I talk in your sleep. What is it about music that that drives you to want to play? I think it's the reaction. It's the it's something inside of everyone. You know, no, I don't know anyone who doesn't enjoy music. I don't know anyone who doesn't get anything out of music, like nothing out of music. You know, to have music is it gives you something, it gives you happiness, it gives you something to relate to, and I just love it. You can relate to anyone. Alex, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And I really am excited to hear you play because you're yeah, going to play some awesome tunes. I heard you earlier. You sounded fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Feeling worse and worse for wear, but you're wearing worse and you don't care. Have another sip. Another text, another night, and your shipwreck. Hi, so I'm here with Steve. Hi, Steve, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, actually, Cassie. Thank you. So, Steve, you are an original rock and roller. How do you feel about the more rock and roll in the music industry today? Well, I'm not as original as Chuck Berry, but yeah, I liked rock and roll. And I saw a Hard Day's Night, and it changed my life. Got your number written up on a kitchen wall. She knows. She knows what you like. What do you feel about modern music? Do you feel there's still a space for real rock and roll? I think it's more to do with the modern world. It's, it's you know, it can become very formulaic and very safety, you know, health and safety and stuff. All of our lives always strive just to feel free. for you being the slightly maturer gentleman. I wish you hadn't said that actually because I've been telling everybody this afternoon I'm only 29 and that's my next birthday. If there was anywhere in the world that you could play a gig, where would it be? I think round my friend's house, which is actually why I'm not allowed to give the address for legal <laughs> reasons. But. Anywhere else? Uh, Hollywood. But where in Hollywood? Around my friend's house. I'm here with Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Hello. We've just heard you do a brilliant set. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. You're fantastic. Thank Everyone you. loved it. I enjoyed it. I watched you grow into your own. You belong to yourself. Keep your dreams. You deserve nothing less. So be bold, be brave. Now 
love in a way you can't contain a burn. Have you always been a solo artist or did you play in bands? How did you get started? Um, yeah, I started out as a solo artist, started writing some songs, um, went on a songwriting course and then met some amazing musicians and was playing in open mic venues all around London, started busking in the streets of London as well um, and formed a band about three or four years ago um, and the gigs just got bigger and bigger. Far away where the pipers play and the grass is grey, dreamers come and go. But while we're here we should commandeer every chance we fear I will never know. There's a time and a place for the human race to make their own mistakes. But I won't be lying in my bed, thinking of all the things I've said. Trying to find some meaning, looking for a deeper reason. Just clear these words out of my head and think of not a thing instead. So do you feel like the actual record labels are sort of dying out and it really is more sort of artists based? Yeah, yeah. I feel it's amazing that artists can have so much power nowadays. Like it's great, you know, and, and I've just, yeah, I've just released my debut album So Called Man um, and we, we effectively self-released it and you know that was great amazing feeling what you thought you might have lost and wouldn't lose at any cost cause just around the corner you might find something smaller but don't dismiss all you might miss what you wish you for so Shangri-La Shangri-La a little bit of utopia is near to where you are so Robbie did you always think that you would be a musician? Uh, not really, actually. I mean, I've always been, you know, surrounded by music and love music from when I was very young. Um, but I never kind of thought it would be my, my career, to be honest, until until I started, basically, like four or five years ago. Um, but I'm very happy that it's the right career path for me, and, and yeah. Okay, well, Robbie, thank you so much for coming. You've been Pleasure. absolutely brilliant. We really, really enjoyed you. You're fantastic. We can only learn if we make mistakes. Your heart's wide open. You can make it be Live in a way you can't contain, burn bright your flame. We can only learn if we make mistakes, your heart's wide open. You can make it home. Subscribe to Cassie's Big Night In. Woo! Subscribe! No, subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, please. <laughs>